Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. Now if you've been following my channel for some time you may have seen I played this a long time ago, a very very early build. But now I've been given access to the pre-release build which is basically the version that will be releasing on the 2nd of March. So if you want to go support this game go, go give it a wish list. Now remember this is developed by a single person as well, Luke Schneider, absolute legend of a developer. Now, and if you watch this till the end he's actually given me a very special little task to do uh, but I'll explain more about that later anyway let's get into it so if we head into play because we're playing the pre-release build we have unlocked everything but since you have all these different islands which are the different levels we will start with level one just to see what's changed since we last played so we're gonna do normal mode but there's challenge and expert and our objectives are destroy the tower with a bonus objective of less than 10% of the ruins destroyed so basically there's like ruins dotted about you don't want to destroy those and we got 20 grand to do it so Let's get involved. First off, we start with this. This is our cab. This is where our driver sits. Yeah, we then can select some of these parts down here. So we're just in the frame split. This just allows you to split up whatever you're doing. So let's shove one of those on there. We can rotate it. We can change colors, all sorts. Now, one thing I will notice that's changed is finally up and down in the camera. So we can see the entire level. Looks like we've got a bridge over there, a bridge there. I'm guessing that at the end is the tower we got to destroy. All right, so I've just done that for a starter. It's just a load of heavy blocks uh, with tank tracks on the side, our cab at the front, and then I've got these little points here. I'm going to have a little look at what weapon I want to shove in. Probably some chainsaws. Oh man, look at all these parts. There's so many cool things now. I think these were what I asked for last time. So a release connector. So I think that allows us to like let go of something. Right, I was going to be sensible and try and do something reasonably normal, but I really want to try these out now. <laughs> Alright, so I've put a swivel piece on there. I've upped the strength to three. I've then put a block on it. I might actually use a chain. I think that could be quite fun. <laughs> All right, so here we have a chain link. If I turn on mirror, I can do this side and the other side. All right, I'm not sure my vehicle is going to be big enough in terms of the base, but I will see what happens. I'm going to come into this part, the utility part. What do we want to shove on the end? We could do spiky minis or we could do a wrecking ball. How? Oh God, they are huge. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, let's try this then. Oh no, I forgot about the maximum budget. All right, here we go. Oh, whoa, there are some improvements to the old graphics All right so i think these stone things they are the the ruins that we don't want to ruin i'm so excited to turn this thing on but i gotta i gotta get to the tower first yeah, i'm sort of struggling i've got a big ball between my legs that's what she said <laughs> hang on <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Or maybe that is better out of context, that statement. <laughs> right, we're sort of on the bridge. I think I'm a bit too wide. There you go. I've improved the bridge. We should be able to get across now. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, it's so good looking. <laughs> it looks fantastic. I'm just, I'm worried I have I have sort of destroyed the bridge, I think. Yeah, I think that we can call that destroyed. Uh... <laughs> but thankfully, there's a load of pre-built vehicles. If we head up to here into vehicles and we select this, the showcase vehicles, there's a load of pre-made ones already created for us. And as our budget for this level is 20 grand, I'm going to select the dumpy plow. And already just looking at this, I can see there's loads of new parts. Can you see that one? That's like a one to two way splitter. So you can now sort of build offset on the grid. That's cool. That's going to be really handy, actually. But right, let's break it down. So what controls do you have? That up and down. Look at the suspension at the front as well. So it's like boring up here. Look, the grass is getting flatter now as well. That's cool. I love that there's new camera angles as well. That's really done it for me. Although we're stuck in a tree. Go away tree. All right, then across the bridge, across the other bridge. And then this is the tower. They look like, are they explosive barrels? Anyway, let's give it a full on charge. Boosh. Oh, Oh man, look at that! Into the bridge! Oh, through the bridge! Oh wow, I feel like the, the physics have super improved. That was wicked. Alright, so that is the level complete. Our efficiency rating is 32.46. And we did all the bonus objectives. Nice. So for the challenge mode, you have to destroy to destroy the bridges. What do you want about, man? How dare you? Oh, and we've been given a recommended vehicle, the bridge breaker. So it says here, complete challenge to unlock vehicle editing. So I think for this challenge, we've just got to use the vehicle they give us and then after that we can create our own for it let's give this a bash so how does this thing work we've got some random claws what are they for is that to hold us in place maybe and then we've got oh yes okay okay oh okay i see how this works now so if we get close yeah i reckon probably to about there and then we do the claws down 
that sort of makes sure we're not going to rock about so that when we give these a bash... Boosh! <laughs> Ready? Boosh! <laughs> Man, this feels so wrong, but it is quite fun. I really shouldn't be enjoying destroying bridges this much. All right, we've destroyed one bridge. Let's head over to the next one. Probably dodging the ruins. Oops. All right, ready? Boosh! <laughs> yeah, the destruction of this is fun. It is very, very fun. Ready? Boosh! Oh, nice. There we go. Destroy two bridges. Completed. Uh, not my proudest moment, but sometimes a job has to be done. Oh, and that's unlocked that vehicle as a showcase vehicle. I understand now. Interesting. So now you can see for Draco, we have done the normal, the challenge. Do you think we can do the expert? So our objective is 80% total destruction. And we've only got 2 minutes 30 to do that. Okay. So looking in the showcase vehicles again, we've got quite a few different things we could try out. Purely based on the name, I'm going to go for the triple threat. Oh yes, this looks like it could be fun. Let's give it a go. Oh, okay. So E, we've got cannons that we can shoot. Uh, T and R are the chainsaws at the front. Okay, so I think we'll keep the chainsaws running like that. And then we'll just keep moving these as we go. I probably shouldn't destroy the bridge first, thinking about it. I should probably try and get through the level. Destroy the tower first. Right, so chainsaw into the pole. Oh, it's annihilated. Nice. Smash that pole up. We should probably try and get across the bridge first. <laughs> um, okay, okay, that, di that didn't go too well. I want to try this one out. It's called the recoiler. Alright, so it's got a cannon that we can aim up and down. And then, wh why is that a thing? <laughs> What did that button do? I just like gobbled myself up. Okay, I'm not sure if this is working as intended. <laughs> I feel like it's trying to do the backstroke on land. Hmm. <laughs> All right, what actually is the intention of those? So it can raise us up. We're like a ballerina tank. And then the other direction is just a bit random. Okay, well, let's try the tank out then. So I think we're sort of aiming at the right place. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Ooh. Secondary explosion. Okay, so can we take out the tower from here? Ready? It's in there. Oh, tower is coming down. Oh, <laughs> this is quite fun, actually. I can shoot so many of them. It's ridiculous. All right, that sort of gives me an idea. All right, so we're starting with just the cab. We've got no budget here, so this is awesome. We're going to grab a six-way heavy block. So we've got that. Then if we come into this one, we've got ultra heavy blocks. I think I just want to sort of surround it in these. So now we have a super heavy base, which means on it, I can prop something else. So I think I want a power swivel that can go in the middle. Then I want that. Then a few of these. And there we go. <laughs> and you might be thinking, Matt, this is stupid. Like, it's so tall, it's just going to flip over as soon as you shoot. But what I'm thinking, the fact that the cannons are all facing opposite directions means hopefully it should be in equilibrium when it shoots. So we've got some rotation options. We can rotate any direction and then we can just... <laughs> oh, wow, that tower got obliterated. Unfortunately, we don't shoot very far. Maybe I should have angled up, but we can just spin and do that. Surely I'll get 80%, right? There you go, 80% completed. <laughs> That's like the dumbest way of doing it, I'm sure. I mean, we finished in 1 minute 05, but like five minutes later, there's still explosions. Wow, and our budget was 1.1 million as well. That's that's quite special, that. Oh, look, there's loads of different camera options now. There's like follow camera, normal, isometric, tracking, all sorts. Follow camera ain't the best at this one, although could get a good shot of that. Ow! <laughs> yeah, check out my efficiency rating there. 1,367. So yeah, that is Draco or Draco now completely completed. Now, there's nine other islands, including the huge Aries to do at the end. Uh, but I want to have a little play in the sandbox. And I've been very, very fortunate enough to be asked by the dev, could I create my own showcase vehicle? Yeah, and then it will be added to the game, which is so cool. And this is where you guys can come in. I want you to help me name it. So let me know in the comments what this vehicle should be called. Yeah, but first, we, we got to build it. So I've loaded up this level. We're going to destroy this building. It's, it's got a couple of towers. There's a few little smaller buildings down there. Uh, we're not we're not using this vehicle. <laughs> this is not going to be it. I sort of want to have a play with these new connectors. So if we start off with something like that. We just got four little treads so we can move about quite easily. I've used ultra heavy blocks. And I want to try out the new connector, which was this one, a three-way Y split. So if I shove that on there, then we can put something on the top in the middle. So we're sort of off center in our grid now. So I'm thinking a power pivot and we can limit the angles, which is pretty cool. We can change the controls and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, so we'll 
do that for now. I think I then want to try a load of four-way cross connectors. But actually, I don't want that swivel thing. I want that to go there. And then I want swivels on the side of that. So yeah, the power swivel. And then we use the release connector to go there. And release is E. Okay, that's fine. Next up, we're adding thrusters. Can you see where this is going? <laughs> So that's good. I do perhaps need to put some sort of anchor in, but let's just see how this works for now. Oh, wow. Look at the grass. The grass got like blown down. All right. So there you go. We can move forwards, backwards. The, we probably need to be a bit higher, actually. We can't really see out the grass. Maybe we need a combine harvester attachment at the front. Uh, we can also rotate left and right. I should probably add rotate to my rocket thing here, but basically I want to rotate backwards to aim up. Nice. So we're aiming at those towers. I've then got Q to turn on the thrusters and then E to let go of them. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That is cool. Although they didn't seem to do a lot of damage. I was trying to turn them into like a ballistic missile, right? What about this then? So I've got chainsaws at the front. We'll get them flying. Then I can ooh, aim it up a bit. And then we've got three rocket boosters ready. So if we fire them up with Q and then hit E, they are off. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're, they're kind of cool. We knocked down one tower. You can see it falling there. But I feel like it'd be better if they're attached somehow. Right, let's come into this rope tab. And I want to connect these together. Together, I think bungee base could cause some carnage. So if I just plonk one there and then the other end there, now it's connected by a bungee rope. A little bit concerned when we launch, it might get caught on that, but let's see what happens. All right, so fire up the chainsaws, aim up a little bit, probably aim at the at the tower, that would help. All right, so then, oops, I did it the wrong, <laughs> I did it in the wrong order. All right, so fire and now let go. Oh no, they did get stuck, they're dragging me. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so bungee cord did get caught around me. That's quite a cool fire effect though. I like that. Okay, I tell you what, perhaps the ballistic missile idea isn't the best. So perhaps I want to try the catapult idea that I had a while back. All right, so let's bung a T in there. All right, so that's those in. I then want some sort of thing at the back. All right, so I've put a cube there and then I'm going to build whatever I want to fling at the towers. What do I want to fling at the towers? Okay, potentially we could shove one of those there. Let's just have it that way around. <laughs> All right, so in order to pull the catapult back, because that's what I'm making, a big old catapult. Last time I used the thrusters, which was fun, but a bit uncontrollable. This time I'm going to try and use these, the large pistons. So if we plonk a load of these down, we got 90 degree thing there. All right, so at the end of these pistons, I've just got a nice degree bend and then I got the release connector. I'm then going to have maybe the dump box, though that might be quite tricky to actually connect. Yeah, it's probably easier just to make my own. All right, so to start just something simple like that, this isn't actually going to disconnect unless I do a another connection thing. So I will do another one there with a different control so that one's gonna be g but now we'll just shove a wrecking ball on there and then we'll do the fun stuff of connecting the bungee cord we go from there up to there and then from there over to there <laughs> oh this looks insane i wonder if it will work all right so let's get involved so that's dropped oh we've destroyed the tree at the back but we are now level let's move forward a little bit just so the tree can fall there we go okay so let's aim at the tower on the left so i want to extend oh god <laughs> it's a bit long i might need a wheel at the back maybe okay now we're pointing at the tower on the right i think the bungee cords are stretched though so we do e and then g so ready <laughs> e G. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. So I can add more pistons to the back. It's probably worth adding more to the front, though. If I just get rid of, like, that and then go this direction, that could be a lot better. And then at the end, I think I need to add a wheel. So I'll do a T-split there, rotate that way, and then I've just got to get a wheel down the bottom. All right, so there we go. That's a little bit better. And then we just do the top stuff again, and we're sorted. All right, so let's hit play. We've got to move forward quickly so we don't fall off the edge. And then I'm not sure how much this will stretch, but I think we might have to move forwards quite a bit. So I'll just smash through those. All right, let's extend. Oh, God, it's long. <laughs> It's so long. Uh, the bungee cords really aren't happy, but I think we're almost ready to fire. We want to do E, then G. So E. Oh, no, I forgot to set G up. All right, here we go then. We're all set up. Keys are all mapped. Bungee cords are going mental. Let's take down this tower. 
So boosh. Let go. Oh. <laughs> Well, that didn't work very well. I'll tell you what, though. It has given me another idea using these pistons. Right, so this thing looks insane. <laughs> I've made, like, a giant, like, hammer thing at the front. Uh, they're all pistons, so this is going to go, like, bloosh in the direction of the towers. Uh, but they're only connected to the back by these tiny little trusses. Because I want to show you the power of the truss. Uh, in reality, not entirely sure what's going to happen. I imagine the weight of this front will just go down and, like, sit there. But uh, let's see what... Oh, God! Do you see the front of that? They were like poked out. So because I made the wrecking balls like sit inside each other, they weren't happy. And, uh, so they all popped out. Oh, it looks like there's a fatal flaw as well. It looks like the back isn't connected. Let me just fix that. All right, there we go. That's much more stable. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be fun. All right, so I guess first things first. Do I just want to launch this thing here? All right, so let's move forward and then... Oh, it's so ridiculous. It's awesome. Oh, the towers are coming down. The towers are coming down. Ooh. On to me. Oh, and the other one's coming down as well. All right, let's give it another boosh. All right, ready? Boosh. All right, now we move back. Now we move back. You want to try and line up so we can destroy that side. I probably should have put something that can steer a bit better. <laughs> Look at it. All right, I'm imagining in this office as like an architect sat there looking out the window at the palm trees like, oh, I'm so glad I have to do nothing for my job. All the engineers do exactly what I want them to. And then... Boosh! <laughs> See you later, mate. This thing is bizarre. It's so weird to look at. <laughs> Why does it make me laugh so much? It's just like, whoop. I like that it actually helps me like move a bit faster as well. But uh, see you later, buildings. All right, what else can we make in this game? <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this game. Right, I've just... I've just sort of nearly maxed out the parts limit. We can't go much bigger. I could make them all a, a little bit longer, maybe. <laughs> Can you imagine driving this thing? All right, let's give it a boosh. <laughs> the tower survived. Right, we're going to have to get closer. So we'll just slowly move closer. All right, that's probably close enough. Ready? Boosh. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. No, no, no. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. There we go. See, I was always under control there. I was just moving out the way so the towers didn't fall on my head. Look at this thing. What have I created? It is really effectively like now i've let it do its thing oh god we're, we're in the seat we're in the seat oh water physics uh, but look at the path i cleared like that was two massive towers there now there's nothing i just had another go just because it's so fun i mean look at the destruction uh, definitely not the easiest thing to control though. <laughs> we're, we're back in the water right i think i need to create a vehicle that you guys will all want to use as well i don't think anyone will want to use this one if i'm honest all right so after hours and hours of fiddling it took me so long <laughs> it's so terrible for what it is as well. Uh, this is what I've come up with. It was a crane to start with. Where we sort of we still had to, the strongest shape in there. We've we got two little hinges there, and um that bit which extends, of course. Uh, we got a cab down at that level. We've got four tracks, and you've probably noticed this huge weight on the back. Now that's to counter this end of the machine, and I'll show you how it works. So we're on the test level of the sandbox, and you can see over in the distance there are some buildings we want to destroy. Also, yes, bonus strong shape on the back of the weights. <laughs> so a few controls, we'll just lift up whoop, that a little bit. It's a bit bongy, but it's not too bad. And then we'll drive over to the towers. All right, so we are here. Let's not get too close, Matt. So at the end here, these are all rockets and they're all on little spinny things. So if I were to press E, oh yes. <laughs> Look at the flames. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. We can we can spin around while we're here. Oh man, I really like the graphics on the flames. That is really cool. So we can proper spin like that. So the other thing we can do, we can extend our arm by pressing T. So we've got more reach. So if we come back in, let's just turn those off for now. You can see how they spin now. Sort of doing an opposite rotation thing, but let's get a bit closer. So this thing is insane for punching holes. So I think we'll line up sort of there. That looks pretty good. We'll turn on the fire and then we'll use T to punch a hole. Are you ready? Boosh! <laughs> and then if we just drive forward ourselves. Boosh! Oh! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> then we turn that off and we can see the damage we've caused. We'll bring our arm back in. And wow, there's not a lot of that building left. Shall we take down one of the towers? So we'll turn them on and we'll give it a little bit of a spin. Ready? Boosh! Oh, we've taken an arm out. Is it going to stay standing? Turn them off. Oh no, it's coming down. It's coming down top of me. <laughs> 
Oh, no. All right, and next up, we have to get a bit closer because you're just out of range. All right, so this time I'm going to spin them up. Then I'm going to turn them off and then I'm going to drive forwards. Oh, that didn't work as intended. All right, so this time we are spinning. I'm going to turn them off and then I'm going to thrust my shaft forwards. Oh, God, it pushed me back. <laughs> That's quite a strong tower. Although it's coming down. Oh, it's coming straight down. That's so cool. But yeah, this vehicle will be in the game and we need a name. So if you want to let me know in the comments what you think we should call this, uh, your name might get in. I'm thinking something along the lines of the mighty Boucher or something. But uh, by the way, I love this level. Dev, you've outdone yourself here. He actually said this was his favorite level to play and I can see why looking at the shapes of those buildings. I reckon what we'll do, we'll take the tower out and then we'll see what way it falls. So it's ready. Boosh. Oh, the tower is coming down into the other building. Oh, man. It is beautiful. Let's let's spin our thing around into that one. Now into the other one. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that building coming down. It's so cool. I love this game. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, I was going to say that's very impressive that that building still stood up, but um, it's not. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace, love, and whatever the hell we're going to call this. I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> See you later. Bye.